So today I'm going to check out two small form factor GPU cards. And these are very small form factor. So they're half width cards. So that means they're half the width of the PCI bracket. And these two cards are the MSI GTX 750 Ti low profile and the MSI GTX 1050 Ti low profile. What you might notice is the coolers look similar. That's because they're exactly the same. The main differences are naturally the 750 is a, well, it's a 750 Ti, and this is a 1050 Ti. So this will have much better performance. And that's not really what I'm comparing here today. Uh, I will be doing some gaming benchmarks. But mostly, these are small form factor cards. So the reason you would get a card like this is because you're building in a very small case, or you're doing a custom case, or you just don't have a room for any other GPU. This is two PCI width. This is the 1050 Ti, and this is one PCI slot width. Really small form factor cases sometimes don't have two PCI slot widths. Um, and that's because MSI decided to put a DVI port. And apparently they really wanted to put a DVI port on this, and uh, they figured, yeah, let's make it double slot. Um, you could probably desolder and de -slot the DVI port, but that, we're not really going to talk about that today. The 1050 Ti is actually longer than the 750 Ti by about 4 centimeters, and this could be an issue. Um, just if you're building, especially in a custom case, or you're trying to convert something into a computer case. I know 4 centimeters doesn't seem like that much, but in a small form factor build it is. And it's double slot, so it ends up taking a lot more space. Um, this isn't something you can get rid of by just removing the cooler, because it's the actual PCB that is that length. Um, so that's another thing. So basically the, set, the 1050 Ti is quite a lot bigger than the 750 Ti. The 750 Ti is very compact. So we're going to put this in the test bench. I'm using an open air test bench. Um, so in order for me to measure thermals, I will put a thermal probe on the back of the card where the air is exhausting out of the heat sinks. All right. So I just wanted to show you the difference between both of these small form factor cards and regular size cards. So here we have the 1050 Ti and the 750 Ti. <clears throat> and this is actually a 560 Ti, but it's the standard size. And this is a 780 Ti with extra width on the PCI card. So as you can see, they're about... The 750 Ti is about a quarter of the size. Okay, so this is going to be the sound test. And I'm going to use my microphone since I don't have a decimal meter. So this is at idle. And this is doing for a mark GPU stress test. And I couldn't hear a whole lot. And I couldn't hear a whole lot from the stress test. So what I'm going to do is use MSI Afterburner and set fan speed to 100%.
we're back now. Those were, that was the gaming benchmarks. And as expected, naturally, the 1050 just ripped apart the 750. Um, but like I said, that wasn't really the whole point of this video. The whole point was comparing these cards from a small form factor perspective. So let's start off with the 1050. The 1050 Ti was actually, you know, it's a bigger card. The heatsink is the same size. Um, it seemed to use slightly more power or roughly the same. I mean, it's within margin of error and I don't have anything to really measure the PCIe power draw too accurately. Um, <clears throat> but we'll just say it's roughly the same. And it actually ran cool, cooler um, by a few degrees, even though the heat sinks are virtually identical. There are some differences in the fin patterns, just in order for it to clear the PCV on this card, the 1050. But other than that, they're the same fans, the same design. Nothing really major has changed between the heat sinks. But this one ran cooler. It is Pascal, so the, there's a lot of improvements, both power efficiency and performance from the Maxwell, which is what this guy is. No, Kepler. This one's Kepler. So there's a lot of improvements between uh, Kepler card here. Um, that being said, neither one really made a lot of heat a lot of noise. Now, if you artificially make the fans go to 100% fan speed, which they never did during gaming, they never did during any sort of benchmark I ran, didn't matter what I ran, GPU Pi, Fire Strike Extreme, it, it, any sort of game, they never ran to 100% fan speed. But if you do make these fans run to 100% fan speed, they are loud. Power draw was roughly the same, performance is I want to say double, but that might not be truly accurate. Um, heat is similar, power draw is similar. They're basically identical, except for this one uses Pascal and it has more performance stuff. It's also a bigger card. So, what's going to make you buy the 750 over the 1050 in a small forward factor build would simply be the size. Does your small form factor build accommodate this. Like I said, it's 18 centimeters long and two slots width. So that that could be an issue. Other than that, prices are sort of similar. They don't make the 750 Ti anymore. At least I can't find it new. Um, instead, I got this used uh, for about $80. And this one I got new um, for $120. If you can fit this in the case, in your case or your application or whatever you're using one of these for, this would be the one to go with. So this has been the MSI Small Form Factor GPU review comparison video. Um, hope you guys liked it. Um, the whole reason I did this video is I couldn't find any information comparing these two cards. So yeah, they're basically the same.